Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this today's video is going to be about bitmaps and converting and and outline traces. And mainly, it's going to be about the trace feature in, inside of Corel Draw, and just kind of show you. Not all the time will clip art when you change it to a bitmap and then trace it using you know there's a number of trace uh, installments so let's just pick on this item just so you can see what I'm talking about you go up to bitmap and then there's quick trace centerline trace that has technical illustration line drawing and then in outline trace you've got line art logo detail logo clip art low res low quality image and high quality image so I've, I've done them on all of them did a little test just so you can see the difference so if you have a if you bring in a clip art and this is the way it, it came you know off the internet as a clip art of a super hornet I converted it to a bitmap so all you do there is just click on your item go to bitmap convert to bitmap and I'm not going to really take the time to cover that but you'd want to go black and white so I'm going to cancel that out but then if you trace it using clip art which I use most of the time after I've converted to a bitmap so we're going to take this section right here and zoom in and look at it and that's the way it's going to look it would take a lot of cleaning up so with that said here is one the exact same model but I did not convert it to a bitmap first. I just traced it. Look at the difference in the quality of the lines from that to that. So a lot of times converting it to a bitmap isn't going to help you. So if I was going to do this for a customer, I'd bring in this clip art right here and I'd make a duplicate of it and move it over to the side so I'd have my original again. I'd convert it to a bitmap and then I'd outline trace it with using clip art and then I would take the the other one that we haven't converted to a bitmap and I would just trace it and just kind of see for yourself which one is better so we kind of scroll through here well, I won't be able to tell what it is if I do that this is the best one is just an outline trace using clip art here's one the low quality image it looks really pretty good but the lines are jagged Here's high quality image, same thing. Uh, line art, basically the same thing. And I'm not going to go through them all, but there's subtle differences in each one of them. Then there's actually that I never have really used before, but the line art, uh, line drawing trace, and technical illustration. Basically, all they're going to do is give you lines, and they're jagged. And they're like hairlines, so you can take that item and, and convert it or just change it to, let's see what line thickness I used. I'm at a 10 points versus a hairline, so you can see the difference. So with the, everything said, try both of them for your factor. Now, with that being said, I always put everything in a yellow box, and I'm just going to kind of show you. All the clip arts have a white box. The quick trace left the white box. The outline clip art trace is pretty good. It took away the, the outline of the back box, but it still got all the inner side. Now, when I just ran the clip art, it went ahead and took out all the parts. So I don't have to do anything to it. Instead of taking this apart that I've showed on some other videos. And so a couple of them, all of them took out the box with the exception of quick trace but none of them except for these last two took out the interior part that's white and you really need to get rid of those before you engrave them because even though white shouldn't engrave it actually does a little bit if you have a really nice plaque that's like a PL finish plaque it'll slightly engrave and take that finish off just a hair most of the time I work with raw wood and it'll sand off. But to play it safe, I always put everything in a in a yellow box 
And just real quickly to do that, you just draw a box, fill it with yellow, take your clip art, bring it in. You can't see it, but you need to go to range and order, put it in front of page, and there you go. Anyway, hope this helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.